hello everyone today i am going to start second lecture on second module that is four year series third semester engineering mathematics course is transform calculus four year series and numerical techniques code is 18 mat 31 in the last lecture i have started this module and in that we will discuss the introduction of fourier series where we study about uh, for where we use the fourier series when we use the fourier series and uh, the definition of periodic functions and uh, trigonometric series and euler's formula for the coefficient of fourier series and some conditions of dirichlet's means dirichlet's conditions and all and also i have solved one example to obtain the fourier series for the given function today i will explain some more example to find the fourier series second example is obtain the fourier series for the function x square in x lies between minus pi to pi and hence deduce that pi square first one pi square by 12 is equal to 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square plus and so on next is pi square by 6 is equal to 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 divided by 4 square plus sign so on next one is pi square by 8 is equal to 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square plus 1 by 7 square plus sign so on here first we have to obtain the fourier series for this function that is x square after that we have to deduce this expansions let us go to the solution solution the fourier series of f of x having a period 2 pi is given by f of x is equal to a not by 2 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity a n cos n theta plus summation n running from 1 to infinity b n sin n theta and name this is equation as 1 now where fourier coefficients means this coefficients a not a n b n are given by the euler's formula those are a not is equal to 1 for a not a not is equal to 1 by pi here our in, in given example x lies between minus pi to pi therefore our limits is minus pi to pi integration from minus pi to pi f of x dx we know we know that f of x is x square therefore a not is equal to 1 by pi integration from minus pi to pi x square dx then integration of x square is x cube by 3 therefore a not is equal to 1 by pi x cube by 3 limits from pi to minus pi we know that 1 by 3 is constant take take outside the limit therefore a not is equal to 1 by 3 pi into first apply the upper limit therefore it will be pi cube minus apply the lower limit minus pi cube minus into minus plus it will be therefore it is 2 pi cube therefore a not is equal to 2 pi cube by 3 pi here 1 pi cancel with this denominator pi we get a not is equal to 2 pi square divided by 3 in our fourier series we have a not by 2 therefore find a not by 2 therefore a not by 2 is equal to take this 2 in this side we get a not by 2 is equal to pi square divided by 3 now find the a n and b n now a n is equal to 1 by pi integration from pi to minus pi f of x cos n x 
here f of x is x square therefore a n is equal to 1 by pi integration from minus pi to pi x square cos n x to solve this one we have to use the Bernoulli's rule we know that what is Bernoulli's rule and how to apply that one here x square cos n x consider x square as a differentiating part and cos n x as integrating part then n is equal to 1 by pi keep as it is keep differentiating part as it is and integrate cos n x we know that integration of cos n x is sin n x divided by n then minus differentiate this x square differentiation of x square is 2x into again integrate this sin n x by n not cos n x uh, 1 by n is constant keep as it is integration of sin n x is minus cos n x cos n x divided by n already here we have n here n into n is n square therefore it is 2x into minus cos n x divided by n square next again differentiate this 2x we get 2 into then integrate this one minus as it is integration of cos n x is sin n x divided by n we have already n square here n into n, n square into n is n cube therefore 2 into minus sin n x divided by n cube limits from minus pi to pi we know that sin pi value is 0 therefore the first term and the last term will be 0 only we have this middle term to apply this limits so that a n is equal to and before that we have to take n cube common in this three terms when we take n cube common it uh, here coefficient of n sin n x will be n square and, coef and uh, coefficient of minus cos n x will be n according to that n is equal to 1 by pi n square I am taking n square common from all these three terms and uh, multiplying this middle term to n we get n into 2 pi cos n x limits from minus pi to pi it will be positive because minus into minus plus therefore only we have 1 by pi n cube into n into 2x into cos n x limits from minus pi to pi now take this n outside this bracket because n is constant to apply this n n 2 is constant for to apply this limits when we take n uh, n outside this one n ca cancel with this denominator n cube therefore it will be 2 divided by pi n square apply upper limit it will be pi cos n pi minus uh, again pi cos of minus n pi we know that cos of minus theta is cos theta therefore cos of minus n pi is equal to cos n pi therefore it is pi cos n pi minus pi cos n pi here lower limit is minus pi therefore it is minus into minus plus because upper limit minus lower limit again we have my negative sign therefore it is minus into minus plus it will be pi cos n pi plus pi cos n pi it will be 2 pi cos n pi therefore a n is equal to 2 by pi n square as it is 2 pi cos n pi here pi this pi cancel with this denominator pi then 2 to the 4 4 divided by n square we know that cos pi value is minus 1 here we have cos n pi therefore it is 4 into minus 1 raised to n divided by n square this is the value of a n next we have to find the value of b n for that next b n is equal to 1 by pi integration from minus pi to pi f of x sin n x dx b n is equal to 1 by pi integration from minus pi to pi f of x is x square sin n x dx again we have to apply the Bernoulli's rule to find this integration again consider x square as differentiating part and sin n x as integrating part then b n is equal to 1 by pi keep differentiating part as it is x square integrate this sin n x we know that so integration of sin n x is minus sin n x divided by n minus differentiate this 2x we get to 2x into again integrate this cos n x 
इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ कॉस एन एक्स इज साइन एन एक्स बाई एन अगे ऑलरेडी वी हैव एन हियर डिफर इट इज माइनस साइन एन एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई एन स्क्वेर प्लस डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस टू एक्स वी गेट टू एंड इंटीग्रेट दिस वन माइनस कॉस एन एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई एन स्क्वेयर इंटू एन इज एन क्यूब डिफर इट इज टू इंटू माइनस कॉस एन एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई एन क्यूब लिमिट्स फ्रॉम माइनस पाई टू पाई नाउ we know that sin n pi value is zero therefore this middle term uh, whole term will be zero so that we have to apply only first term and last uh, we have to apply limits for first and last terms keep 1 by pi as it is from this one from first term keep uh, take 1 by minus 1 by n outside the limit because it is a constant x square into cos n x we have to apply the limits it will be pi square cos n pi minus our lower limit is minus uh, minus pi minus pi whole square is plus pi square therefore it is pi square cos n pi again cos of minus theta is cos theta therefore it is a pi square cos n pi minus cos square pi square cos n pi plus middle term is 0 plus take n cube outside it will be 2 by n cube cos n pi cos n pi value is cos of minus theta is cos theta therefore before applying limits take this negative sign outside it will be minus 2 by n cube this is minus not plus minus 2 by n cube apply upper limit cos n pi minus lower limit cos of minus theta is cos theta therefore it is cos n pi minus cos n pi here uh, pi square cos n pi minus pi square cos n pi is 0 again here cos n pi minus cos n pi is 0 therefore whole term is 0 therefore bn is equal to 0 Thus, by substituting these values of a not a n b n in one, the Fourier series is given by f of x is equal to here f of x is x square, which is equal to pi square by three plus summation n running from one to infinity, four into minus one raised to n divided by n square into cos n x. This is the Fourier series of A given function that is x square. Next, we have to deduce the given expansion. For that, consider this is equation two. Next, put x is equal to zero in equation two. Means this in this equation, put x is equal to zero. See what we get. F of zero is equal to x is zero. X zero square is zero is equal to pi square by three plus summation n running from one to infinity four into Minus one raised to n divided by n square cos n zero because x value is zero here. X square is again zero. Zero square is again zero, which is equal to pi by three plus summation n running from one to infinity four into minus one raised to n divided by n square as it is. Cos zero value is one. Therefore, it is simply pi square by three plus summation n running from one to infinity four into minus one raised to n divided by n square. Now take this pi square by three in this side. We get minus pi square by three is equal to here four is constant to apply this summation. Take this four outside the summation. This is four into apply minus one raised to n by n square for minus one raised to n by n square. This summation we get minus one by one square because substitute first n value as one. We get Minus one by n square. Next, apply n as two. We get one divided by two square. Then apply n as three. It will be minus one by three cube plus minus one by four cube minus n so on. Therefore, take this four in this side and apply this negative sign here. Or taking negative sign on both the sides, we get pi square by twelve is equal to one by one square. Minus one by two square plus one by three square minus one by four square plus n, so on. See, this is the first result. Next one. Now, 
put x is equal to pi in equation 2 we get f of pi is equal to x value is pi pi square is equal to pi square by 3 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity 4 into minus 1 raised to n divided by n square into cos n pi now pi square is equal to pi cube by 3 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity 4 into minus 1 raised to n divided by n square uh, since cos n pi value is minus 1 raised to n therefore minus 1 raised to n here it is and minus 1 raised to n into minus 1 raised to n it will be minus 1 raised to 2n which is equal to 1 therefore and uh, this 4 is constant take outside this uh, summation uh, and take this pi square by 3 on this side pi square minus pi square by 3 is equal to 4 into summation and running from 1 to infinity this 2 value is 1 therefore 1 by n square now it will be uh, after solving this one we get 2 pi square by 3 which is equal to 4 into summation 1 running n running from 1 to infinity 1 by n square now apply first n as 1 next n as 2 n as 3 like that we get pi square by 6 is equal to summation 1 by n square plus summation 1 by 2 square plus summation 1 by 3 square plus summation n divided by sorry pi square by 6 is equal to 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 4 square plus and so on this is the second expansion next one is now to find the last result we have to add the equation means this this equation first reduction and this second one we get pi square by 12 plus pi square by 6 is equal to 2 into 1 by 1 square plus 2 into 2 1 by 3 square plus 3 into 1 by 5 square plus and so on because see here in first term we have 1 by 2 square and minus 1 1 by 2 square 1 by 4 square values are negative and in this second reduction uh, 1 by 2 square 1 by 4 square uh, values are positive when we add these two terms it they cancel each other next here 1 by 1 square 1 by 3 square and so on values are there here also 1 by 1 square 1 by 3 square values are positive therefore it is 2 into 1 by 1 square plus 2 into 1 by 3 square plus 2 into 1 by 4 square plus and so on next take two common in this all terms we get 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square next term is 1 by 7 square plus and so on then take this two on this side we get pi square by 8 is equal to 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square plus 1 by 7 square plus and so on Next example 3, obtain Fourier series expansion, Fourier expansion of f of x which is equal to e raised to minus ax in the interval minus pi to pi and hence deduce that cos h, cos h, h pi is equal to 2 by pi into summation. Now here n running from 2 to infinity minus 1 raised to n divided by 10 square plus 1 solution we know that the Fourier series expansion is f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus summation 1 n running from 1 to infinity b n sin n x and a naught is equal to 1 by pi here limits are minus pi to pi therefore integration from minus pi to pi f of x dx is equal to 1 by pi integration from minus pi to pi here f of x value is e raised to minus ax into dx now we have to integrate this e raised to minus ax it will be 1 by pi into e raised to minus as divided by minus a limits from minus pi to pi here minus a is uh, constant take outside this uh, limits then after the after applying the limits which is equal this is equal to e raised to a pi minus e raised to minus a pi divided by a pi which is equal to here multiply and uh, divide this 
term to 2 we get 2 sin h a, a pi divided by a pi because we know that e raised to x minus e raised to minus a x minus x divided by 2 is sin h x to write this to use this result just you have to multiply and divide this term to 2 then you get 2 into sin h a pi divided by a pi which is the value of a naught next an is equal to 1 by pi integration from minus pi to pi f of x cos nx dx which is equal to 1 by pi integration from minus pi to pi e raised to minus ax cos nx dx again we have to use the one result to solve this integration as i already given this important result we have to use this results here see here integration of e raised to ax sin bx dx is e raised to ax divided by x square plus a square plus b square into a sin bx minus b cos bx and integration from e raised integration of e raised to ax into cos bx dx is equal to e raised to ax divided by x square plus sorry a square plus b square into a cos bx plus b sin bx and uh, we know that sin pi sin pi value is 0 means sin n pi is also 0 sin pi value is minus 1 therefore sin n pi value is minus 1 raised to n we know these two results we have you have to remember these two results when you are when you have the terms in integration as e raised to ax and sin bx or cos bx form then an is equal to an is equal to see that is an is equal to 1 by pi e raised to minus ax divided by x square plus n square a minus a into cos nx plus n into cos sin nx here a value is a and b value is n here and limits from minus pi to pi apply the limits we get 1 by pi into e raised to minus a x divided by n square a square plus n square into minus a cos n pi plus n sin n pi then minus e raised to a x divided by a square plus n square minus a cos n pi minus n into sin sin n pi first we have to apply the upper limit to this term next minus lower limit to this term next uh, after simplification of this one we get 1 which is equal to 1 by pi into e raised to minus a pi divided by a square plus n square minus e raised to a pi divided by a square plus n square into a cos n pi which is equal to 1 divide a divided by pi into a square plus n square into e raised to minus a pi plus e raised to minus e raised to a pi into minus 1 raised to n because cos n pi value is e raised to minus n and take a square plus n square common in these two terms we get a by pi into here already pi is there and take this a here a by pi into a square plus n square into e raised to minus pi minus e raised to minus a pi into minus 1 raised to n we know that e raised to a pi minus e raised to minus a pi divided by 2 is cos sin h a pi therefore to write uh, to take this result just multiply and divide this term to 2 we get 2a by pi minus 1 raised to n sin h a pi divided by a square plus n square which is the value of a n next we have to find the b n b n is equal to 1 by pi integration from minus pi to pi f of x sin n x dx which is equal to integration from minus pi to pi e raised to minus a x sin n x dx next is b n is equal to 
वन बाय पाई अगेन अप्लाय दैट रिजल्ट ई रेस टू माइनस ए पाई हियर यू हैव टू यूज द रिजल्ट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ई रेस टू ए एक्स इंटू साइन एन एक्स डी एस डी एक्स ऑन यूजिंग दैट वी गेट वन बाय पाई एज इट इज एंड ई रेस टू माइनस ए एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई ए स्क्वेर प्लस एन स्क्वेर इंटू माइनस ए इंटू साइन एन एक्स माइनस एन कॉस एन एक्स लिमिट्स फ्रॉम माइनस पाई टू पाई नाउ वी हैव टू अप्लाई दी लिमिट्स हियर वन बाय पाई हियर वी हैव टू राइट इक्वल टू साइन इक्वल टू वन बाय पाई इंटू ई रेस टू माइ फर्स्ट अप्लाई दी अपर लिमिट टू दिस टर्म आफ्टर दैट माइनस लोअर लिमिट ई रेस टू माइनस ए पाई डिवाइडेड बाई ए स्क्वेर प्लस एन स्क्वेर इंटू माइनस ए साइन एन पाई माइनस एन कॉस एन पाई माइनस इंटी रेस टू माइनस ई रेस टू ए पाई डिवाइडेड बाई ई रेस टू ए स्क्वेर प्लस एन स्क्वेर इंटू माइनस ए साइन एन पाई माइनस एन कॉस एन पाई which is equal to 1 by pi into on simplification we get 1 by pi into e raised to a pi divided by a square plus n square minus e raised to minus a pi divided by a square plus n square into n cos n pi now take this a square n square uh, common we get n into n divided by pi a square n square e raised to ए पाई प्ल माइनस ई रेस टू माइनस ए पाई इंटू ई रेस टू माइनस ई रेस सॉरी वन माइनस वन रेस टू एन वी नो दैट ई रेस टू ए पाई माइनस ई रेस टू माइनस ए पाई डिवाइडेड बाई टू इज साइन ए पाई टू यूज दिस रिजल्ट मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड टू टू दिस वन वी गेट ए बी एन इज इक्वल टू टू एन बाई पाई माइनस वन रेस टू एन साइन एच ए पाई डिवाइडेड बाई ए स्क्वेर प्लस एन स्क्वेर विच इज इक्वल टू टू एन बाय पाई माइनस वन रेस टू एन डिवाइड इंटू साइन एच ए पाई डिवाइडेड बाय ए स्क्वेर प्लस एन स्क्वेर नाउ दिस इज इक्वेशन बी नाउ वी हैव टू सब्सटीट्यूट ऑल दिस कोफिशंस वैल्यू दैट इज ए नॉट ए एन एंड बी एन In equation one means four year series, we get f of x is equal to two sine h a pi divided by pi into one by two a plus summation n running from one to infinity minus one raised to n a divided by a square plus n square into cos n x plus minus one raised summation n running from one to infinity minus one raised to n into n divided by a square plus n square into sine n x this is the fourier series next we have to find the cosec we have to prove that cosec h pi is equal to this one for that for x is equal to 0 a is equal to 1 the series reduces to f of 0 is equal to 1 which is equal to because e, e raised to 0 is 1 So the so that f of zero is equal to one is equal to two sine h pi divided by pi into one by pi plus in uh, summation one running n running from one to infinity minus one raised to n divided by one plus n square. Put x as zero and a is one. We get this uh, step. After that. Take sin h pi divided by pi in this side. We get only sin h pi. We get one divided by sin h pi is equal to two by pi into this remaining term as it is. We know that sin one divided by sin h pi is cosec h pi, which is equal to one by pi into one by two plus summation n one n running from one to infinity minus one raised to n divided by One plus n square. Then cosec h pi is equal to two by pi into one by two minus one by two. In our proof, they are given the our summation running from two to infinity. So that to write this summation, uh, n running from one to infinity to two running from uh, uh, n running from two to infinity. Just we have to take here minus one by two because when we apply n is equal to one to this expansion, we get 
it has a minus 1 minus 1 by 2 therefore 2 by pi into 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 plus summation 2 running from 1 to n running from 2 to infinity minus 1 raised to n divided by 1 plus n square 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is 0 therefore 2 by pi summation to n running from 2 to infinity minus 1 raised to n divided by n square plus 1 which is the required result this is the proof that is cosec h pi is equal to 2 by pi summation n running from 2 to infinity minus 1 raised to n divided by n square plus 1.